Mid icon Davosuka is the player in focus in today's video and this is the team we're going to be trying him out in. Don't worry, we're not going to be using him as I can. He's going to be playing up front with Kylian Mbappe. If you need to get your hands on some coins to improve your ultimate team, then check out the link in the description, igvault.com. And if you use the code Kieran at checkout, you'll get yourself a pretty nice discount. So like I said, in this review, we are going to be using him up front. We're going to be playing in the 4-1-2-1-2 formation, and he's going to be up top with Mbappe and then Richarlison in behind, hopefully getting plenty of assists. Now, a few of you actually requested me to do this review, so hopefully you're happy to see this video in your sub box. And if you didn't see this video in your sub box, that means you're probably not subscribed. So go ahead and do that right now. Also, if you could leave a like rating on the video, that'd be very much appreciated. And in the comments, let me know which other icons you want me to do a video on. Anyway, let's focus on the icon in question now. And um, he's got a four star weak foot and four star skills, which is very good to see. High medium work rates, and he does of course stand at six foot tall in terms of player traits we have the outside the foot shot and that is it but in terms of in-game stats we have some very very nice shooting stats to discuss 91 finishing which will be maxed out by the hunter chem style 89 shot power and also 88 attack positioning hopefully in front of goal he's going to be an absolute beast he's also got some really nice dribbling attributes as well 89 ball control and 91 in-game dribbling being the standouts as well as an 89 composure rating being down there as well which obviously affects not just his dribbling but also um, his general ability when under pressure from opposition defenders his pace as a base item isn't actually that great so that's the main reason we are putting the hunter chem style on him obviously 86 pace isn't slow but um, it's definitely not rapid so hopefully the chem style helps out a lot in that area for a striker he's actually got some all right passing attributes and um, that 84 short passing hopefully will come in handy when partnering up top with Mbappe and finally how are the physical stats looking and um, they're looking all right to be honest obviously he's six foot tall and he's got a decent jumping start of 80 and not bad heading accuracy of 81 so hopefully we can make the most of that and uh, he's also got all right strength of 73 and all right aggression of 69 neither of them standing out too much but uh, hopefully he'll feel pretty good in possession of the ball and hopefully he'll be able to protect it a lot in game two so without further ado let's get into some games and let's test him out so, for Davos Suker's debut, he is up against that typical foot champs backline which features Joe Gomez, Varane, and also Ferland Menke. Lucas has put Suker into a good position very early on. He's come inside, hit the finesse, and he's hit the post. Get, totally one. Get in that gap. Get in that gap. You've got the strength to hold him off. Nice bit of play. Left foot strike across goal. That's a pretty good goal from him. He did well to stay on his feet, battling up against would be defenders, and then he's put the ball into the back of the net, which is what? He's in the team to do. Here's an opportunity. Mane whips it in. Chan Sukkot with the header. Gets the goal. And once again, it's all square in this game. It's so end to end. Well, what a first half that has been. Um, yeah, he took the lead. Uh, we pulled it level. We took the lead. He pulled it level. He took the lead. We pulled it level. And yeah, that's where we're at. Hopefully in the second half, someone can find the winner. Hopefully that, that person will be me. Oh, good chance. Good chance created then. We should have scored. Is there an opportunity to break here? To score later on? Oh, oh, he's done well. He's done really well. Cross goal strike. Good save from Courtois. And eventually the referee blows for full time. And unfortunately, there's no goals in the second half. Um, yeah, an amazing first 45. But the second 45 just really didn't live up to expectation. But uh, Davo Suke on debut gets himself a hat trick. So a pretty nice opening display from him. But... Uh, yeah, brilliant first 45, not so great second. Right into the next match we go, and we are facing a backline of Tamori and road to the final Zakaria, who is playing out of position, but um, still is an absolute beast. And he's also got Alfonso Davis, who is just absolutely rapid in this game. We like that. We like that a lot. We like that a lot. Oh, I tried to shoot there. I swear I pressed shoot. Good win of the ball there. Can we find some space? We've got round one. Ball's whipped into the box. Here's Mbappe. Oh, that should have been two. So at the break, we have ourselves a 1-0 lead. As you can see, my opponent has had many more chances than I, but uh, we have definitely been the more clinical of the two sides, and hopefully it will remain like that in the second 45. Ball's put through. Oh, there's a chance, and he will finish that one. And he will finish that one, and our lead is restored. A lot of panic passing on both sides of the field right now. Succo gets the ball across the box and there's a chance for Richarlison. Have we just nabbed this one right at the very end? The opposition players drop to the floor 
as we score an 18 and a half minute goal. And there is full time. Um, I've got to be honest, I don't think Icon Suke actually had that great of a game in that match. But when it mattered most, he came up with a very big assist which ultimately won us the game. And that is big. We waste no time getting ourselves another opponent and it's another Premier League themed side. But um, it is kind of a hybrid if you include the fact that he's got Felipe Anderson in there using the Brazilian links. But um, all in all, very solid squad. But um, not all that creative. But um, pretty OP featuring many meta players. Here we go. This is what we want. This is what we want. This is what we want. Oh, that's a nice goal. That's a very, very well worked goal. And I cannot believe this game's at a 3-0 scoreline. And when you see the stats at half time, you'll understand why I'm saying that. Because this is not a 3-0 game at all, especially in our favour. Because uh, my opponent, for the most part, has had so many chances. So at the break, as you can see, we are 3-0 up. And uh, I won't lie, I feel pretty fortunate to be 3-0 up, to be honest. Because my opponent's had some very good chances. And Alisson has pulled off some pretty nice stops. But, um... Yeah, happy to be ahead at the break, obviously. Here we go. That's a nice break. Go on. You've got the legs. You've got the legs, I believe. I believe. Oh, the chip is nice. And the chip is in the back of the net. And the lead is restored. Pass there from Mbappe. Ball comes across the box from Sukor. And there is the goal from Richarlison. One of them pinged crosses into the box by Davos Sukor. And there, uh, Richarlison makes it five and the game is well and truly over now and there is the full time whistle so another victory with sucker in the team and another decent outing from him two goals and um, any assists yeah he's also got an assist in this game so uh not doing too badly in that right striker rule game number four and we come up against an informed marcus rashford and a player of the month and Sufati and the back line, which features Joe Gomez, Mendy, but no Varane. Very surprising. Here we go. Chance. Sucker is through. Chance to shoot, and he does exactly that. And he's been very unlucky there to hit the post. Here's a chance to put through a nice through ball. And he does exactly that for Kylian Mbappe, who can score from tight angles, but not on this occasion, he can't. Nice. Interesting bit of play here. Oh, it's such a tight angle for Davosuka, but luckily he's timed the pass well to Mbappe and we draw it level. End to end game once more. There's an opportunity to cross the ball into the box. Here's a chance for the header. Oh, we've put it over the bar. I tapped it. Oh, that's a good bit of link up play. Here's a chance with the finesse and that just like that. We get the lead for the first time in this game. So it's 3-2 at the break, and um, I'm not going to lie, it's not a comfortable lead. It's been a very, very tight game, and my opponent is absolutely doing business with that rush. I don't know how Suzuka got to that, but now he's been put through. Davosuke has put Mbappe through. It's a chance to extend the lead, and we... Oh, wow. I got the ball all right. The shot, though, has gone under the keeper and past the purse. Disappointing not to score there. I thought I had. Oh, chance. Go on. Oh, he's showing really good strength there to get past Ramos. The shot has been saved by Alisson, but the rebound won't be. And we have our lead extended to two. And now at the other end, he's got past Ramos. Oh, go on. Oh, referee. Oh, he's tr I don't know what happened there. Just like on the floor trying to move the ball with his head. So the game ends, and as you can see, we got the job done. Um, a goal and two assists for Davos Suka in that game. But I've got to be honest, it wasn't his best performance. That uh, was definitely noticed. He's a... Uh, his dribbling just seems to be lacking for me, but um, I'll discuss that a bit more in the summary. So, after all of our outings with this card in the team, what's the verdict on the card? Well, he ended up giving us a pretty nice goal return. In four games, he scored seven times and got four assists, which is a, a pretty nice record, especially for a striker that's playing in a two-striker formation. And then, um, straight up, I'll tell you, his finishing is very good. Off that left foot, he certainly can hit the ball. Shot power's nice, finesse shot's nice, and from distance, he's also a threat. The guy can definitely score goals which is obviously a big positive for anyone that you plan on using up front. So really, really happy with the shooting ability. Um, his pace, though, wasn't particularly um, anything special. Um, as expected, quick enough to um, break away if he's got a yard or two on a defender, but ultimately he's not going to be a player that's going to, you know, burst through a defence and then just break away. He doesn't quite have 
uh, the pace of his striker partner, Mbappe, unfortunately, and that is a bit of a shame. Um, I thought his passing for a striker was up to a decent standard. I have to admit it wasn't as good as the 80 passing on his card suggested, but uh, he did link up rather nicely with the short passes with Mbappe, but his through balls were very much hit and miss, so uh, that's a bit of a shame, but uh, definitely not the end of the world for a striker. Now we come on to the dribbling. Now let me just, you know, start by saying, I am not saying this guy's dribbling is bad, but it's definitely not as good as the 89 dribbling stat on his card suggests. And I think that's down to his height in game. And uh, yeah, he's just not all that easy to manoeuvre, which is a bit of a shame because his ball control is actually quite good. And in, I, in some instances, in tight spaces, he controls the ball really well. But for the most part, when trying to turn with this guy, he just doesn't feel that quick when doing it. And that is a bit of a shame. That is the one thing that I think this card lacks um, from taking it to like the next level. If he had good dribbling, or better dribbling, sorry, um, I think this card would be absolutely outstanding because I'm a big fan of the finishing and positioning. So, uh, yeah, I just wish he was a bit better with possession of the football. But like I said, I am not saying he's terrible at all because he's pretty good but definitely not as good as the 89 rating suggests, in my opinion. Finally, physically, how was this guy? Um, well, I felt his stamina held up really, really well in-game. Didn't seem to tire too much for me, which was very nice. And uh, his strength and aggression, I also thought, was up to a decent standard. You saw in some of the clips, he was holding off players like Sergio Ramos. Not many players in the game can do that. This guy can and did on quite a few occasions, which was nice. Don't get me wrong, he's not super strong, and he's not going to win those battles every time. But he's got enough about him to win those battles on some occasions, which is more than can be said for some other forwards. So, uh, all in all, a pretty nice item, and I did enjoy using it. But um, it's just got a couple of things that hold it back. From being a top tier striker in my opinion but still an enjoyable card and uh, as i say a very good finisher so, so if you use this card i definitely expect it to score you some goals and i've almost forgotten to speak about the aerial ability he actually does win a decent amount of aerial battles which is very very nice and uh, his heading ability is also pretty good so if you want someone to cross into this could be an option i don't think he's elite in the air but um he is pretty good to be fair to him so uh, with all that in mind, that is what my verdict is on this card. Does that even make sense? I don't think it does. Um, let's get on to the price. He costs around 870k. Is he good value at that price? Eh, that price... It's not awful value, but that price does seem a bit steep to me. I personally wouldn't pay that if I was going to keep him. So, uh, yeah, something to bear in mind there. But it's nice to have him back in the game. Obviously, he was missing for a year or two after originally being one of the legends, I believe. Anyway, let's wrap this video up. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have, drop a like rating on it. Comment below your thoughts. Subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.